On Monday, there is a baseball game at home against Paris. On Tuesday, there is a baseball game at Putnam. On Wednesday, there is a golf meet at Holmes. Thursday, Junior High Track will have a meet at Highland. Baseball will be playing at Marceline. On Friday, Varsity Track meet will be at Brookfield. Thursday through Friday is prom work days. Finally, Saturday is prom. The Grand March will be held in the gym at 6 p.m. Any prom goers must be there at 5.30 p.m. Students attending prom, please park in the student parking lot and visitors park in the staff parking lot. Visitors, please do not walk across the gym floor. After Grand March, prom will be held until 11 p.m. After prom will soon follow at the Boyer Event Center from midnight until 5 a.m. I hope everyone has an amazing prom and a nice week. Porter, why do you look confused? I'm Iris Mishra, and this is uh, Tiger Trivia with Tiger Newscast, and today we will be doing classic Rock Guess the Song. We have senior um, students here today, and let's get started. When they know it, they are going to buzz in, and I'll pause the song and continue. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Porter? Um, that is Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Okay. Uh, let's do... Hunter? Crazy Train on the Lightning. Or Black Sabbath. Whatever. Which one? Black Sabbath. Nope. What? Uh, Can someone get the artist? Cherry Bomb by, um, I don't know the name anymore. Don't think of the name. Yeah, I don't know. It's The Runaways. Hunter uh, <laughs> has two points. Two points. Two points. Porter has two points. Porter needs a brown. Last song? Last song. Danger Zone, that's what I call it. You know the artist? The artist is Kenny Loggins. Hunter, you've won. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> you got two, Porter. That was easy. Because you got three. How did you get three? Because I did five. You did five. Cut it, cut it. Hello, and welcome to this week's segment of Teenage Teacher. Today we are with our learning lab teacher. So, how old were you in this picture and what year was it taken in? I was 17 and it was taken my senior year of 2001. What is your favorite thing about this picture? Um, probably my hair. My, it's naturally blonde in that one and it's straight. Now it's frizzy and a mess. <laughs> was there anything else you wanted to share? Um, just makes me think of high school. High school goes by fast. Uh, it might not seem like it. Enjoy it. Take it all in. Try new things. But really just enjoy your high school year. All right. Thank you. Thanks. I'm Mason Fender. I'm Sean Schroeder. And today we're going to be asking Zeta Ketchum about this speech she will have to present for FBRA. Uh, so Zeta, what is this speech about? Um, the topic I was given was something I was concerned about in the future. So what I did was the cost of living. So I have taken examples of inflation, not from the past 20 years, but in like the past year, and reflected how it is affecting rural America so much. Wow, how interesting. Uh, so how did you prepare for the speech? I wrote it the night before, did my note cards on the bus, and went in like I own the place. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, what are, were you nervous about? Um, nothing really. And what, what points were you most confident about? The, that my topic was pretty solid because I, I thought it was probably better than 
some of the other ideas I had. So you know, were there any benefits that came with giving the speech? Uh, benefits I had is I had the opportunity to be able and go and speak at districts and play second place. So now we get to go to state and I get to present there on Sunday. Same. And do you have any tips for people that would want to compete in FBLA in the future? My tips would be um, to go in confident because even if you don't think you know what you're talking about, if you sound confident, it does. And uh, the judges, if you forget something you were going to say, the judges don't know that, so just keep talking. Don't try to stumble around and go back and talk about it. Just keep talking because they don't know you were going to say it in the first place. Wow, excellent advice. How inspirational. Well, I'm Mason Trenzo. I'm Sean Schroeder. Clan and all. Hello, I'm Mason Myers, and today I'm going to be our high school principal, Kurt Scott, about the Leap Tiger concept. So what do you think that is? This project has been something that's been quite a few years in the making. Uh, we have a lot of needs out here uh, for our student athletes, the locker room facilities. Uh, you know, they had a lot of years of, of use and abuse on, and as well as our, our restrooms for the public and our concession stand area. Uh, I think anybody who ever came to the Scott County Home Football Game would agree our, our public bathrooms are in the definite need of an upgrade. And uh, Miss Ellen Elward several years ago kind of got the ball rolling. Um, what we need to do and kind of some ideas to make this project happen and, and we were able to uh, with the school board uh, it's hard work to make this happen and um, we are very proud to have it. Is this, is this what you expected? It, it is. Uh, we were able to get everything that we wanted. Um, a nice clean locker room, a room for the team to kind of be in a unified area uh, that allows for maximum supervision. Uh, our junior high will change out here as well. We've got storage for the football central location now so before we used to have some um, in, in lockers by the gym we'd have stuff out here we'd have stuff in another building um, so as you can see we're still putting the final touches on it but we're able to have our uniforms our helmets our, our field paint um, everything we need will be in this room so it's a centralized location we'll be able to keep it in a climate control building out of the weather which will have a longer lifetime for those which will save us money in the long run as well so thanks for coming along for the tour <laughs>